Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn about the basics of Scratch. You can get Scratch by logging to www.scratch.mit.edu. So we can use either the online version or the offline one. So I have already downloaded the version and uh, you can log in using your email ID and password. So after login, this is the screen that appears and uh, you can click on the create to create new projects. It will take a while. Okay, here you can see left side, there are so many blocks or buttons like motions, looks, sounds, etc. So these blocks contains different codes which we can use to create our own programs okay so while clicking here while clicking on the looks you'll get another different set of codes and in sounds another so using this we are going to make the programs and as you see here there is a plus like symbol okay this is extensions you can click on that and see what all extensions are provided by the scratch and you can see uh, you can select any extension as per your need and here this area this area is called the scripting area so here we are going to write the scripts by just dragging and dropping the blocks and then this area is called the stage as the name suggests, this area here, the sprite or the character will perform as per our code. So here you can see there is a character-like structure. This is called a sprite. Sprite is nothing but just the character in the scratch. So there are so many sprites available. So if you click on this, yes, uh, if you click here, there's a character-like face. And if you click on that, you can see many number of Sprites available. You can choose any sprite as per your convenience for creating the games as well as animations or whatever you like. Then there is another option here. You can see a backdrop, right? So if you click on that backdrop, so you can choose your convenient background. See here the background appears. So this is the basic of the scratch and today we are going to make a simple pattern using our sprite. Here I have chosen my cat as a sprite. I am going to make a program. And one more thing is that, have you seen a red and green color thing over here or a green color flag and a red color button? So using this green color flag, we are going to run our program and to stop, you need to just click the red color button, okay? So now we'll start. I'm going to make a pattern using my sprite, that is the cat. If you want to change the sprite, you can. So here I'm changing my backdrop. And if you want to choose any sprite, you can do. So for the first thing, whenever you start programming in Scratch, you, have, you need to do is that you have to drag and drop this block. This is when green flag click. That means we are going to run the program whenever clicking the green flag. That means that's why we have added this block. And next thing, whatever we are going to do is that we'll add a forever loop. You know why we are using forever? Inside this, if you place any block, it will be continuously running. For example, I'll give you a simple example. I'll show you. Okay. So I'll drag this. Here, this means move 10 steps. That is our sprite. We have asked our sprite to move 10 steps. So while cl clicking the green flag, you can see it's moving, right? Then it stopped, right? Whenever I'm clicking, it's moving 10 steps, that's it. So if I place or if I keep this inside a forever loop, you'll see what's happening. See, it went down. I mean, it's walking or it's moving 10 steps forever. It's moving and moving, going on, see? Okay, so that is the difference between this forever. Means if you keep something inside the forever, it will be continuously executed. So that I've taken the forever here. Then I'm asking it to move 
join these steps, okay? Join these steps. Then there is another option called turn 15 degrees. This means it will turn, see, if you want to rotate in anti-clockwise direction, there is another option, this one, okay? Then place it and see. Now it's rotating in the opposite direction, right? Same way, I'll take this, uh, this one, okay? Now I am going to make a pattern according to the sprite mode. For that, click on this plus symbol and take the pen extension. You have to click on here and take the pen extension, okay? So from that, I have taken pen down. Pen down means the pen is going to write or it is down or touching the paper or wherever it is, that is pen down, fine? Now I'm changing the pen color, okay? I'll make it pen color, change the pen color. So the color will be continuously changing by 30. That is a value which can vary, no issue. Then I'm setting the pen size to 10. Pen size means the thickness of the drawing, okay? Now let's see, see? The sprite is drawing a pattern, right? A circle. So once we stop and again we are running the program, the cat is going through the same circle or it's, it's the drawing is still there, right? So I want to erase the first drawing whenever I start new or whenever I click the green flag again for that. There is an option called erase all. If you want to erase a drawing, just there's an option called erase all in pen extension. You have to drag and drop it here. So now let's see. Whenever I click the red button, it's stopping. And again, when I click the green flag, a new pattern appears. Pattern is the same, but still it is starting from the beginning. So that's all for today. And one more thing I forgot to tell you, you can add the blocks by just dragging and dropping here. And if you want to delete it, just move it here. That's it, it will get deleted. And uh, if you want to save your project, you can save it in your computer as well. Go to files and you can either save as a copy or save to your computer according to your convenience. So that's all for today. Hope you enjoy the video. So see you soon with another interesting video. Till then, take care.